Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's lesson, you know, I'll take you around the interface of the Enterprise Manager Database Express, EM Express for short. Now, we're going to explore the features of EM Express for 12C and then the features of EM Express for 19C. We're going to see the difference, okay? As you look at my screen, you can see that I'm already logged into my Enterprise Manager Database Express, and this is for 12C, right? This is for 12C. So this is what the interface looks like. Now, um, before I go further, you need to understand that the Flash plugin that is needed to use EM Express 12C has been deprecated, talking about the Adobe Flash player, right? So you may not be able to use Enterprise Manager for 12C, okay? But with me, there's always a way out. We have our ways of doing things. So if you want to know, you can reach out to me. I'll tell you how to go about it. So let's start. Down to my right, you see the sysuser is logged in. Okay, I'm logged in as the sysdba. And then you can log out with this button. Then one of the things you will observe is that the auto refresh by default is for one minute. So every one minute, this page will be refreshed. If you click this drop down arrow, you can actually set it to five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, you know, as you want. But I mean, the maximum is one minute, right? Okay, so let's move over to my left and see what is happening. This is your database status page. And then you see the uptime, the database has been running for up to 28 minutes now and the type of database is a single instance now if it's a rack database you see it stated clearly rack instance and then you see how many nodes are present in the cluster again another information you observe is that this is a container database with two pdbs okay so if i click this You'll see that we have two PDBs, OROCL PDB, that's the default PDB that comes with your sample schema, the HRO schema. And then this one was created by me, PDB1, where I have another schema, the simple order entry schema, that's SOE schema. Okay, I created this one myself. Now, the next thing I want to show to you is the configuration page. Now, if you click this drop down arrow, you see your initialization parameters. Let's go ahead and click and see what happens. So from this page, you can also manage your initialization parameters. All of those things that we're doing with the SQL command, you can do them here, okay? You can click modified to look at parameters that have been modified. Okay, you can also click basic to look at basic parameters. Okay, so this is just um, a quick walkthrough then. Um, if you come back here, if you click on memory, you'll be able to see your entire memory structure for the database. And then down here, you look at your memory allocation history. You see what is allocated for your paging rate, large pool, Java pool, shared pool, and all whatnot, right? You see all of that under the configuration page. And then you can also look at your current database properties. So this is your current database properties. And then if you come down to storage and click on this drop down, you can manage your undo from here. You can see undo management, your redo log groups, active logs, and then your control files. They are all here under storage. So let's go ahead and click the redo log groups and see how many groups we have. You can see we have three redo log groups, log group one, log group two, and then log group three. It's very important to understand that um, this database has been configured to use Oracle managed files, okay? So the naming convention will be done by the database itself. And then under security, you can see users, you can see roles. If you click on users, you can see all the database users. Now you can, create a new user under actions you can still see this create user menu now if you click on any user and then click on actions 
now you'll be able to modify either create a user like this user or drop the user and then alter the user's account, alter the user's table space, alter the privileges and roles, okay? And then also, um, you can manage your roles from the security page as well. So you see the different roles, you see the DBA role, and every other role you can think of in the database, you find it here. So you can create a role here, and you can drop role with the actions button. If you click any role, for instance, um, this role now, it's showing you that this is a common user, right? So go back to the home page, just click on this ORCL right up here. Now, another thing you will observe again is incidents in the last 24 hours. So here, the database will record all of the incidents that have happened in your database within the last 24 hours. So you can see from PDB1, you can see the error message that is displaying. It says PGA memory used by the instance exceeds PGA aggregate underscore limits. Okay, so um, there's a likelihood I have to increase the PGA size. Okay, to clear up this, this error. And then the final thing I want to show you on Enterprise Manager Database Express 12C is the fact that you can carry out performance monitoring and tuning, okay, with this tool. I told you before that the Enterprise Manager is one very fantastic tool that every DBA needs to be familiar with, okay? So at the performance page, if I click this drop down and go to Performance Hub. First, before I go to Performance Hub, you can see that there's SQL Tuning Advisor and then there's SQL Performance Analyzer, but let's go to Performance Hub. So here you can see your, your database statistics and metrics, okay? Now, one of the things you will observe is that there's a picker here. This picker can be moved to any location. If you observe, there was a spike at this particular time. So let me move this picker. So this point where I had um, serious workload in the database and then observe that the chart will change. Note that this is not a training on performance tuning. This is just to show you how to use the Enterprise Manager Database Express. So this is not a performance tuning class. However, you can use this tool to drill down to the cause of this spike. Now, you can also click on workloads to reveal your top 10 SQL statements. Now, these SQL statements are probably statements that cause a heavy workload on your database or consuming more resources. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is to try to click on the SQL ID to reveal the actual SQL statement. All right, so this is the SQL ID, and then this is the statement that was actually, you know, taking up so much resources and then uh, causing a heavy workload for the database. If I click on this, it will show me the SQL statement, right? Let me just say, okay. And then if you want to invoke the SQL tuning advisor, all you need to do is to click on tune SQL, then click okay. Okay, so this is just a brief overview of the Oracle Enterprise Manager Data Express for 12C. Now, let's look at the one for 19C. Okay, so see the interface for Enterprise Manager Database Express 19C. Okay, you can see um, no much difference. The only thing you will observe is the fact that for 19C, you have just your performance. Okay, now this goes to show you that 19C Enterprise Manager Database Express was built strictly for performance monitoring and tuning. Okay, um, first at the home page, you see your status, you see uptime, not like the multi tenant database I had previously in the 12C. And then the same thing, auto refresh is by default one minute. Okay, so, um, in one view, you could see your resources, see the usage of your host's CPU. And then if you come down here and click on Performance Hub, it displays all your statistics and all your metrics. Okay. If I click on Monitored SQL, you see all the SQL statements that, that are being monitored here. And then the activity page will bring you to 
this place where you see SQL ID by weight class, okay? And then you look at user sessions. Again, if you click on it and then click on session identifiers, you'll be able to get a user ID or look at the user session, probably a session that is blocking other sessions and all whatnot. So you'll agree with me that the features of Enterprise Manager 12C are more. They actually richer compared to that of 19C. Right? So for all you DBAs that are upgrading to 19C, be informed that most of the things you can do with Enterprise Manager 12C, you won't be able to do it with Enterprise Manager 19C. Okay, that will also mean that you have to get used to your SQL commands as a DBA. Like I said, this is just a walkthrough of the Enterprise Manager Database Express for 12C and for 19C. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Please do well to like and share and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload another content and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.